Alrighty guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be removing my forks and my rear shock. My rear brake, well I take that back. <laughs> my brake lever, it is super worn out. As you guys can see we've got lots of play. These bolts are stripped and uh, yeah, it's got a lot of time on it. That's actually the brake pedal from my 2018 250. So we actually have the OEM one right here and it is still brand new. I don't know. I think I only rode a little bit on this. I must have a new clutch. Pedal. Got the clutch pedal. Got a sprocket because we do have a broken one. And uh, yeah, lots of good stuff, fun stuff. And uh, I don't think we'll be pulling the bikes out anytime soon. It's getting cold. So let's get to it. Okay, plastic's long overdue. How's that air filter? Well, not that bad actually. That was not tight at oh. This is snapped and stripped. What the hell happened? So, um, if you guys can see little uh, redneck ingenuity there, aka a hose clamp. We'll use our dummy round. Don't get mad, YouTube. It's not real. X is a perfect. Oh, good gravy. Oh, there we go. Sweet. Alrighty, let's do a little recap. So, forks are off, sat over here on the bench. Uh, it was the one with the whole shot device, so the one that was on the right side of my bike is the one that dad's fat butt blue. Uh, <laughs> but uh, working on the rear shock now, did a little bit off camera, went ahead and uh, took the bolts, <laughs> took the day bolt out for the gas tank. And uh, just a little look at how dirty it is underneath there, terrible. Super sad, not really. And then, uh, and then uh, next up, I'm gonna be working on the rear shock. I already took the bolt out for the subframe, and uh, yes, so we're getting to it. It's actually been a while. I haven't removed the rear shock since I put that one in, I believe. So uh, yeah. So now, we should be able. Up high enough. Let's twist it out. 
Booyah! Yes, sir! Look, ah, oh, shoot, man. Look at that carnage. It's terrible. All right, so it's been like a day, and we're back. Uh, we got everything off that we wanted to, I believe, for the most part. Yeah, but uh, today I'm gonna get my triple clamps off. I wanna check the bearings, and I'm going back to Texas to grab my to grab some stuff I left, and I got my stock ones there, my aluminum clamps. I wanna try those again just to see if they flex better. Uh, they obviously wouldn't look as cool, that's for sure. But they also this also doesn't have the spot for. Uh, uh, a steering stabilizer and my other ones do so I also might want smokes wow all right check this out y'all all the times you wash your bike the spots it doesn't get so I always put lots of grease and hopefully even your seals are good I got this thing either too tight or there's no grease down there so I'm kind of nervous Alright, you just have a spanner wrench. I already broke it loose just to make sure I was doing it right. Now, so I don't make the same mistake I did in the past. You gotta hang on to the bottom. It will go flying if I'm correct. It will. Oh man, I'm, I hope these bearings are in dry at the bottom. Up on here at the Whoa! All right, well, it's got grease. It's not dry. <laughs> oh, all right, well. Okay, I guess we just had her pretty tight. She's got grease, boys. Um. Okay, so my bad. I lost the top bearing while I was cleaning it. It slipped out of my hands into that barrel, and uh, yeah, it's long gone. But it's okay, it's kind of rusty. We'll get a new one. Um, yeah. Uh, next up, we're going to take our shifter lever, our shifter pedal off. And I don't know if you guys can see, we do have a broken tooth on the sprocket. It's not because the sprocket was old and worn out. A rock or something definitely got in there because it's the only one that broke. Because usually if you break one, you'll start to, the next one, you know, will come shortly after. And that one's been broke for a while. I just haven't gotten to it. But... We will start with the shifter, get to that maybe on the next video, but we'll see. Okay, let's take, oops, let's take this off. I already took the bolt out. Should. Ooh, there we go. OG stock one. Next. To a new one. Uh, hope this is right. All right. I think I don't know. I think that'll be all right. Looks about where I had my other one. Maybe one notch down lower. I don't know. We'll try that. Sounds bad. Sounds like something's rubbing. I'm just assuming that it's probably just because it's low on oil. But uh, it doesn't sound good. So, that'll be interesting to look at when we tear those apart. What do you think? What do you think? Looks good? He doesn't know what to think. Alright. 
I'm actually not gonna put the brake on, but we are gonna have to get this off sometime. Pull it out, heat it up, and pull this out. Get a new one. But uh, yeah, if you guys are new here, please subscribe, and uh, as always, smash that like button. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, we will see you guys on the next one. Peace.